Minutes, sponsored by Sinkler Heating and Cooling for 24-7 comfort on call. Hello, Brad. Chris, before we get to today's main story, and it is an exciting story. I've never <laughs> been this excited about a story in a long, long time. I have seen it. It is nuts. Okay, but before we get there, I wanted to make a quick mention because yesterday at this time, we told you about mm -hmm. Starship Flight Number 9 was scheduled for last night. It did indeed launch. I thought that CNN summed it up the best. Quote, gets farther in tests than last two flights, but loses control on reentry. Okay. We'll let you know when it flies the 10th time. Okay. All right, on to today's main story. Kawasaki, let the good times roll. Okay, <laughs> Kawasaki, one of the premier manufacturers of power sports vehicles, motorcycles. I had one of their Ninja for years, loved it. It was a great machine. Can you machine. imagine Brad on a Ninja? At, with no hands, riding, no, I'm just kidding. All-terrain <laughs> vehicles, they make utility Close. vehicles, jet skis, outboard motors, tons of fun, amazing things. Okay. And at a recent trade show, they premiered their latest and greatest. Are you ready to see this? Uh, yeah, are I mean, I have seen it, full disclosure. Are you ready to are see you ready? this? Are you ready? Yeah. Let's take a look. This is Corleo. You take a look at it and like, it looks like a robotic Animal is yes. the only way to describe it. Let's see what Kawasaki, what they say about it, okay? Quote, Kawasaki's revolutionary off-road personal mobility vehicle offers excellent all-terrain capability powered by four robotic legs together with the handling and stability of Kawasaki's motorcycles. While preserving the joy of riding, the vehicle continually monitors the rider's movements to achieve a reassuring sense of unity between human and machine. Now, hang on. I've got some other pictures you've got okay. to see. So here's a side view. It kind of looks like an animal and a yeah, motorcycle. Totally. There's a seat, a stirrup for your foot. There's a little handlebars of sorts. But these legs are just incredible. Like here's another cutaway view, by the way. that came out of a motorcycle. Exactly. I mean, here they show you some of the, yeah. the articulating rear leg. And Kawasaki says the rear leg unit can swing up and down independently from the front leg, allowing it to absorb shocks during walking and running and, believe it or not, leaping. It can also <laughs> jump. Well, okay? I would hope so. Okay, so here's another view. Here's the, uh, the handlebars bars, if you will, and the little dash or control panel. It incorporates, uh oh, Chris. Of course it does. Artificial intelligence to constantly analyze terrain conditions, determines the op optimal approach for navigating obstacles, and can distinguish between different surface types to adjust its gait accordingly. And at night, it actually projects little markers onto the road surface to indicate the best path ahead. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Now wait, there's more. It gets better. It does. Okay, so here's another cutaway view, and okay. you can see some of the mechanics associated with the robotics on the legs, okay? And over here are these blue things. Fuel cells? Batteries? They are hydrogen canisters okay. because it's hydrogen powered. Right. 150 cc hydrogen engine that also powers all of these each four legs independently. But here's the beauty of it. These little canisters are quick swappable. Oh, okay. So, so it's real you easy. Carry some in your backpack. And correct, a correct. Okay, we've got a short yeah, video. You gotta show You've got to see this show. video, okay? And we'll talk over it as well. Uh, this video is provided <laughs> by Kawasaki. And again, I'm not sure if these are actual riders or if this is all animation because this is really just a prototype. But as you can see, it also has this very unique rubber coated articulating hoof that allows it to grasp objects. But you can Look at see. That. It's amazing. It's amazing. It looks like it would be fun. It's sort of like horseback riding, but look. What? Whoa! Okay, what? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I think this is a little bit. <laughs> Does AI tell you which chasm you can actually survive when you jump over? I don't know, okay. but here, here it is projecting that little yeah. path ahead at night, okay? So it's really an amazing thing. And by the way, Chris, here, if you're wondering how might this be used, Think of the, the application, oh, sure. other than just fun, the military, border patrol, disaster response, forestry management. They're saying it could maybe even go to the moon or Mars, that astronauts could ride them. If all goes well, they say it should be available by 2050. The big, the big thing that it's all hinging in on, rather, is those hydrogen engines sure. and adaptation by purchasers. We know who's going to be first in line. <laughs> I don't know if the knees could take that. <laughs> I have right, to Brad. hang on tight. <laughs> Brad, thanks so much. Yeah. Still to come here, beat.